Hi, this is Casey Kasem. Well, the man who was once called Rod the Mod, Rod Stewart, is back on the survey in a big way. He has this week's highest debut. Following the lead of Eric Clapton and Mariah Carey, Rod's latest release, Have I Told You Lately, is a live performance taken from MTV Unplugged. Now, Mariah and Eric both took their Unplugged songs into the top ten. Can Rod Stewart equal that? We'll find out as we count down all the biggest hits in the USA on Casey's Top 40. From Hollywood, this is Casey Kasem on American Top 40. And we're counting down the biggest hits in the nation on our way to the most popular song in America this week. Well, a few weeks ago, one of the most popular and sought-after rock stars in the world left the ranks of the unmarried and took a wife. She is the former Alana Hamilton. He is jet-setting superstar Rod Stewart. And this week, his recent number one smash is at number 27 on American Top 40. At number 30 is the superstar who hit number one about a decade ago singing, Do You Think I'm Sexy? But these days, Rod Stewart says he doesn't think he's so sexy anymore. He told writer Jesse Nash, I've grown out of that phase. I think I'll leave it to George Michael and others. I just want to make music that's got a bit more of an adult appeal. I don't think I can make records for kids anymore. Here's Rod trying to make music for everybody, singing a song about growing up but never losing your heart. Up five notches to number 30 this week, Forever Young. Number five. Rod the Mod Stewart got his first big break 25 years ago by being in the wrong place at the right time. Rod told us, quote, I was waiting for the London train, but I was on the wrong station, me and me mates. I was playing harmonica and singing the blues, and Long John Baldry heard me and said, Why don't you join my band? Well, that was the first in a series of bands for Rod, who went on to become, as we all know, an exceedingly successful solo superstar. Here he is with his latest, Rod Stewart, and my heart can't tell you no. I'm Shadow Stevens, this is AT40, and now we're up to the English superstar who says he had to recover from his biggest selling hit ever. The number one song, Do You Think I'm Sexy? In 1979, it sold two million copies. And he kept hitting it big in the 80s, but some people thought Rod Stewart strayed too far from his roots. His large male audience was shrinking, and they thought he'd become a parody of himself, more interested in shaking his rump than making real music. Rod himself told writer Paul Grine, there's probably a certain amount of truth in that. In those days, I didn't really concentrate on singing. I was definitely more concerned with showing off my anatomy than trying to prove my vocal prowess. It hurt my rock and roll credibility, that's for sure. And then there was Rod's image as a jet-setter playboy. His manager, Arnold Stiefel, remembers his image became this glitzy guy with beautiful blonde girls who wore fabulous things and drove fabulous cars. It was nothing inside of life. I told Rod that we had to take four to six years to sort of rebuild him without ever admitting to the world that there was any rebuilding to be done. So they plotted and planned and out went the flamboyance and the spandex pants. Rod got back to his rock roots. And his current album, Out of Order, is his biggest hit in years. Rod says, I'm just glad I've come through all this. Not bad at 44, really. Well, Rod Stewart continues his long chart history with his 25th top 40 record. Crazy about her. American Top 40! 1971. He first came to America in 1969 as lead singer of the Jeff Beck Group. And he was so nervous the night of his debut, he hid behind the amplifiers. But in American Top 40's second year on the air, he made his mark with his breakthrough solo album that grew out of down-home folk and blues, which he combined with electric rock and roll muscle. And his first chart single was a monster, a two-sided number one hit. One side was a ballad called Reason to Believe, and the other side became and still remains his signature song. Here's Maggie May by Rod Stewart. Casey's Top 40. Well, now we're up to the latest hit for Rod Stewart, a soccer-playing superstar who's definitely one of the world's most devoted sports fans. For a brief time, he played professional soccer when he was young. To this very day, he plays soccer every weekend, and Rod just hates missing a game when one of his favorite teams is on TV. And that's what almost happened one night when he went out to dinner at one of his favorite new restaurants in London, a restaurant called Toto's. 
As Rod was about to sit down to eat, he glanced at his watch and saw that it was time for the game to begin. So he asked the waiter where the TV was. Well, the waiter pointed to a small portable set in the bar. Rod said, where's the big screen? And the waiter said, well, they didn't have one. Well, Rod didn't even think for a moment. He reached into his pocket, pulled out his credit card, handed it to the waiter and said, go out there and get the biggest TV set you can find as quickly as you can. The waiter was stunned. He walked over and asked the manager what to do. The manager looked at the credit card, looked at Rod Stewart, and looked back at the waiter, and he told him, go out and get that set. The waiter made a few quick calls and found a TV shop that would deliver a big TV set in a hurry, for a big fee, of course, which is how Toto's Restaurant in London came to have a brand new jumbo screen TV in its bar, and how Rod Stewart didn't miss his important soccer match that night. This week, instead of watching TV, Rod Stewart's watching his latest hit, Climb the Charts, moving up four notches to number 15 on Casey's Top 40. Here's the Motown song. These are the 40 favorites playing out of radios all over the nation. This singer has been performing for more than 25 years, and he's been a superstar for about two decades now. So is the thrill gone, or does Rod Stewart still get a rush when he hits the stage? He says, it's like going up for the guillotine every night and being fed to the lions. But Rod admits he loves the unpredictability of a live show. He says, you never know what reaction you're going to get from the crowd. But I just love seeing live faces out there. 10 or 15,000 people is probably the greatest experience I could ever have. Rod Stewart's 30th Top 40 experience is at number 32. This is Broken Arrow. Who else is going to bring you to my He says he thinks he's singing better now than he ever has. I won't argue with that. Rod Stewart took Broken Arrow to number 19, and now he's down from 32 to number 37. Number 35. Our third debut this week is from Rod Stewart. Rod recently wound up his world tour in Australia, and now he's taking it easy with his wife, Rachel. They're aboard an ocean liner steaming back home to England. Meanwhile, steaming into the countdown, here's Rod's version of the Elton John classic, Your Song. Now, why would you sell a house with 15,000 square feet, nine bathrooms, and a fountain with water cascading down 90 steps? <laughs> Well, to get a bigger house, of course. At least, that's what Rod Stewart did. And now he's the proud owner of 22,000 square feet on two acres of Beverly Hills' finest terra firma. Comfortable, Mr. Stewart? Rod Stewart's wife, Rachel Hunter, gave birth to their second child, a baby boy, in London Hospital. Liam McAllister Stewart was welcomed into the world by his model mama and rocker papa. Dad's heading back into the studio to work on a new album, while Mom returns with Baby to Los Angeles within the month. She plans to make a new video combining exercise, nutrition, and a theme of getting back into shape, while Rod sings Forever Young, I guess. Casey's Top 40. I'm Casey Kasem. Well, now we're up to the song, Have I Told You Lately. It's by a British superstar who began his career with a band that often played for less people in the audience than were on stage. Like a lot of musicians, Rod Stewart went through his fair share of hard times. And a lot of them came when he was with the first group he sang for, a wild organization led by a giant of a man named Long John Baldry. John called his group the Hoochie Coochie Men. And Rod says he never knew exactly how many Hoochie Coochie Men there really were. Sometimes five musicians would show up for a performance. At other times, there were as many as 12. The band seemed to consist of whoever happened to be around. <laughs> Believe it or not, the Hoochie Coochie Men had a cult following back in the mid-60s, and Rod was one of the group's two and sometimes three lead singers. But sometimes even their fans didn't show up, and Rod remembers playing clubs and bars where there were more people on stage than were in the audience. One night, Rod and the ragtag group played a pub south of London. And when they looked out from the stage, they saw an audience that consisted of exactly, precisely, one paying customer. And that customer clearly had a bit too much to drink, because shortly after Rod and the Hoochie Coochie men began to play, the man fell sound asleep. And he slept like a baby through their entire set. 
These days, more than 25 years later, Rod sings for millions of fans around the world, not just at big concerts, but also on TV. Here's a song he recently sang on MTV Unplugged, the song that soars nine big notches to number 15 this week on Casey's Top 40. Here's Rod Stewart and Have I Told You Lately. Casey's Biggest Team. Seven years ago this week, back in 1986, one of the biggest hits in the USA was Love Touch by a rock and roll legend who says, what else could I have done with this nose and haircut? Though he's been a superstar for more than two decades, Rod Stewart isn't above a lot of self-mockery. He says the crazy outfits he's worn over the years, especially his spandex leopard skin pants, were his way of making fun of himself. And he says there's nothing funnier than his looks. Rod Stewart recently told Entertainment Weekly Magazine magazine that he thinks he's one funny looking fellow he described himself as having a nose that looks like a potato and hair that makes it seem as if there were a chicken sitting on his head and rod says where else but in rock can a fellow who looks like him become a star casey's biggest hits four years ago this week one of the biggest hits in the usa was by a superstar who pays homage to his scottish roots with this song it's one of the only rock hits to feature bagpipes The bagpipe dates back more than a thousand years to the days when fierce Scottish warriors would terrify their enemies with the sounds that would come from these strange instruments. These days, bagpipes are still used by marching bands in Scotland, and they're used as well by a man of Scottish ancestry named Rod Stewart, who always makes a point of saying that he's Scottish first and English second. A point he makes musically in a song that was one of the biggest hits in the USA four years ago this week. Here's Rod Stewart along with some backing bagpipes on Rhythm of My Heart. Well, now we're up to another song Tom Petty wrote, the latest hit for Rod Stewart. Rod recently started a worldwide rumor by accident when he told a reporter he might retire. It was back in April when Rod Stewart was doing an interview for one of the British tabloids, the London Sun. Before the reporter came, Rod had a couple of drinks. In the course of the interview, the British superstar was asked if he'd ever hang up his rock and roll shoes. Without thinking, Rod tossed off a line about how he'd probably retire someday. He didn't know when. For all he knew, his next tour might be his last. He said, quote, I want to go out while I'm still on top. Well, the reporter jumped on those words, and the sensationalist London Sun went to press with a huge banner headline that said Rod Stewart was going to retire after his next tour. Within hours, the story was picked up all over England. Rod's many fans reacted in a predictable fashion. They rushed to ticket agencies, buying up every available seat for Rod's upcoming British tour. Record stores reported that Rod's albums were selling at a fierce pace. Rod mania swept across England. Except Rod says that, well... He's not planning to retire. Not now or any time in the near future. It was just an idea he was tossing around. An idea fueled by the few drinks that he'd had before the interview. With those rumors of retirement behind him, Rod looks forward to many more years of performing his classic hits. America's Top Nine years ago this week, back in 1990, one of the top hits in the USA was Downtown Train by a rock superstar who got his big break playing for crowds at a downtown train station in London. At the time, Rod Stewart was trying to keep body and soul together, singing for spares flowed by him in London's busy Twickenham station. By pure luck, one of those commuters who heard Rod singing was a blues guitarist named Long John Baldry. Long John was putting together a new band called the Hoochie Coochie Men. He needed a singer, and Rod sang like no one he'd ever heard before. He offered Rod the job, and that was the first step on the road that led to one of the most successful careers of the rock era, and to the song that was one of the top hits in the USA nine years ago this week. Here's Rod Stewart with Downtown Train. Casey 